F2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Browser. Okay. All right. So we have typically seen. Uh, the examples we have spoken about servlets all right now even we have spoken about uh, the get method and if you can see there is a limitation the get method has size limitation only 1024 character can be in the request string so when i talk about request string this is my request string so when i do a submit this is my request string okay so i can only have 1024 characters that's what it specifies okay so never use the get method if you have password or other uh, sensitive information to pass to the server because as i said if you have any kind of password do not even use these kind of methods so servlet handle this type of request using your do get method okay now you have got the post method if you see uh, uh, you need to use your do post method in order to access your uh, post methods okay now we have spoken about couple, uh, only one uh, one method from your request that is a request dot get parameter okay so with the help of request dot get parameter you can request uh, you, you you call request or get parameter method to get the value of a form parameter okay the same way you can say uh, get parameter values this uh, call call this method if the parameter appears more than once and return multiple values for the example checkbox let's say you have a checkbox let me just uh, drag and drop a couple of examples from my system and let me just show you that okay let me close all these things Close all these things. Okay, so we'll even see your get parameter values, and we'll, we'll see the get parameter names also here right now. Okay, just stay tuned. Okay, just copy this. Okay, so I have an example. Let me just drag and drop that example out here. Okay, so come here, drop this, drop this out here. So let me just say it as hello servlet two, for example. Copy this, bring it here, paste it. Okay, I'll just say hello servlet. And if you see here, uh, you have no limitations. Uh, if you want to have multiple URL patterns for a particular servlet, you can bas basically specify using your URL patterns. Okay. So here in this case, you have got URL patterns equals to so and so and so. Okay. This is also one way you can specify. So you can have multiple URL patterns for a single servlet. this copy this and paste it out here right so I have got hello servlet so let me see what all methods I have it here okay uh, at the end of the session I'll, I'll copy and paste a couple of other files also uh, so I would request you guys to at least go through those files and understand and uh, try to execute it Okay, so so that you come up with some questions and then we can uh, discuss about those things. Okay, so here I just request that get parameter names. So let me see where do I have this hello servlet. Copy and search it. Okay, give me a second. I should have copied and pasted all the examples. Okay, 
So this is my request get parameter get parameter. Okay. So let me just use the same thing here, and uh, let me just say hello servlet to okay, or let's say uh, we will give this name as parameter names example. Okay, I'm just going to remove all these things. So I've got hello subnet two, and I have given the name as param name example. Okay, so I will come back to the uh, do post method. Okay, whether it's a do get or do post. So it will say request it get parameter name. So let us see what is this parameter names. Okay, so I just copy instead of having your action, I will just say parameter name example. Okay, so form action equals to parameter name example, and Ultimately, it is going to go to your parameter name example is what there is your hello servlet two dot Java file. Okay, so it comes back to the hello uh, servlet two dot Java file. It comes here, takes all the requests. So let's see what's going to be the output right now. So let me clear this, compile it. Uh, folks, is there anyone who is not able to follow it, or it is pretty much fast for you guys to understand? Please just give me a message privately or what it doesn't matter yeah um jeram mm -hmm. actually uh, i was not able to log in today maybe the password was not correct i don't know what happened wrong uh -huh. i just like couple of 5 minutes ago i joined so i am totally no i am not getting okay so i would i would request you to you have to go through the video then okay Hey, uh, Jerem, mm -hmm. uh, quick question here. I see the annotations here. I'm not sure if I missed, but did you go over annotations? How we spoke about annotations yesterday itself. Oh, okay. Okay. So we spoke about annotations as well as we spoke about your uh, uh, configuring and videos. Uh huh. Yeah, videos. Actually, the videos uh, on mm -hmm. the link are uh, like uh, the last video is not there. I mean, I think the last two sessions, so if uh, they could upload it. So well, I I actually yeah. sent out an email yesterday to everyone uh, with uh, with the with the uh, uploading videos. I'll what I'll be doing if I'm not sure if you have got the email, I'll be on a daily basis uh, using uh, the same video. Know, uh, yep. I'm not getting any emails from you. Yeah, actually, Fatima? I'm also not getting. Okay, I would request you guys to. Ping me with this subject uh, email video link. Just do not change this subject. Okay, just say email video link and send across to jaram dot h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Okay, do not change the subject. Uh, don't even have any kind of spaces also. And shoot out an email right away. Uh, everyone, I see 16 folks right here. So I would request all 16 folks to send out an email so that uh, from today I'll be sending out all the videos. I mean, at least the videos which I will be teaching it today. I'll be uploading it in a particular drive, and you guys have to access that. And uh, you will very well go back to the H2K Infosys site in order to access it later. Okay, at least for. Uh, today or tomorrow you will be seeing the, those videos in a particular folder okay so okay so probably uh, at the end of the class i'll be seeing all those emails so i i'm expecting at least 16 emails from each each of you folks so if anyone is going to miss out uh, please uh, get in touch with me again okay all right, so we spoke about uh, the configuration in your web.xml as well as we spoke about your annotation. This was your initial way or your old way of uh, annotating, uh, sorry, your configuring your servlet. So this is your new way of configuring your servlet. Okay, so we have already spoken about this annotations. All right. Okay, so let us go back and uh, check about, uh, talk about your hello.html again. Go back. So in this, I'll just say first name is Jeram, last name is Rao, and do a submit. Okay. So param name example is not found. Param name example. So I have to restart the server. 
close this build this now there is one more way even you can uh, start your server just say control 3 okay and just say server if you say server out here it says servers and you can see your tomcat server has been listed out here you can and you can see what all uh, files has been uh, or what all projects has been deployed now here in this case i have only my web pro project okay and if this has been stopped you can right click on this and just say start okay now if you remember uh, we have actually done a debug for your core java programs right so you basically right click uh, debug as so and so right how do you debug your servers i mean server side programs right you want to see whether the request has come here or the request has what is happening with the request sometimes your requests are not proper so you want to check whether the request which is coming is proper or not so can you briefly talk about annotations when you get a chance i think i missed that part yesterday okay uh, pratima i will i will uh, talk about that okay in real short all right so how do you do that so i told you that you can even uh, put a debug point so if i want to put a debug point i can put a debug point here and go back to my hello.html come back here and just say submit out here right so i got some information it's, it's pretty much small um i can just say here okay get one okay so go back i hope it will be compiled all right so this is what you get right now okay so this these things are null because i'm not passing any information these things are null null name is null place is null okay so i did not pass any information moreover uh, the name which you have it here is your name it is not your first name or last name so if i say here first name and let's say last name okay that's what you are supposed to do here now let's see what are we going to do right now okay so my main objective is to first of all debug this application once we debug we will see couple of other uh, methods also which is present in your request object okay now i have already put uh, jerem i have a quick question before that can mm -hmm. i ask please yeah please go ahead uh, i want to ask you that in this uh, uh, the method you, um, set content type you have passed on uh, text and html right uh, you got it from the html file i suppose uh no usually we'll even talk about this in short okay just just stay okay here. okay okay thank you all right so uh let us try to debug this and see how where where i am right now okay you know you have already done a debugging in your core java application now how do we do a debug on this server okay so for debugging again i have to go back to the servers and i have to stop the server okay how do you open this tab just say control 3 and you can just say servers and you can open this right click and just say uh, you can just say again restart in debug mode i can i just want to stop it here now let me even show you couple of other things also even before even going into this all right now if you see uh, there is a method that is a destroy in your hello servlet 2 right so the moment i stop the entire server this particular method got invoked okay so this is very similar to your finalize method you want to free up some resource or very similar to your uh, try catch finally right so wherein you want to close some connections and the same thing here if you before even your servlet get destroyed you want to free up some resource using your destroy method okay now these are all callback methods so you have it's very important for you to understand what is a callback method callback methods are the one which gets called automatically you don't have to call those methods explicitly by yourself okay so this is the this is uh, where the advanced java comes into picture wherein you'll be having a lot of callback methods even when you uh, when you even uh, get a chance to learn about ejbs there are a lot of callback methods that those will be called automatically okay all right so what i have to do come back to the server right click on this and just say debug okay now we are in the debug mode so when we are in the debug mode we i have put a debug uh, point out here so let's see what happens here okay 
go back to the this page you have the first name last name i'm not capturing the email i'm not capturing the password okay and let's see what is the view page so this is your get okay it, as of now it doesn't matter for me whether it passes to the url or it passes in the bot in the, in the in the body itself okay so just say submit now when i did a submit it came here and it stopped why because i am running the server in the debug mode right now uh is it same with the service method in it is not same as the service method okay in it is only for initializing no i am asking mm -hmm. no uh, my question is you said callback methods mm -hmm. so uh, our service method and init method are they also yes call, init method your methods? service methods are all callback methods okay thank yeah. you all right, so right now we are in the debug point. So I just do F6, request.get parameters. So what is what is request.get parameters, right? So request.get parameter name is nothing but, uh, it is a list. So let us see that what you get, request.get parameter. The first one is JRAM, okay? Now the next one is route. Fourth, as uh, third one, nothing. Why it is nothing? Because if you remember in my this is my first field, this is my second field, this is my third field, and this is my fourth field. So when you say request.get parameter names, it is going to return you an enumeration. Okay, that means when you say request.get parameter name, so let us see what is the written type of this. Okay, the written type of this is an enumeration. Now, if you remember your iterator in your collection, the same thing when you talk about request.get parameter names, it returns a enumeration so it is very much similar to your iterator okay in case of your collections you use uh, iterator here it uh, this is also part of a collection itself okay so if you see it comes under your java.util package itself okay so the, the only thing is it your request get parameter names it returns your enumeration it doesn't return your iterator okay now with the help of the enumeration you can basically iterate or walk through the complete values which is present in your in your client okay or which is completely present in your form itself so in the form i have got one two three four okay so all the four values are coming up and if you can see the output also it printed jram it printed route it printed nothing because the third one i did not give anything and it is going to i did one more time okay and this one more time also there is nothing all right. So if you want to capture all the information in one shot, okay, you can very well use your request dot get parameter names. Okay. Now here I just said request dot get parameter of first name, last name, the same thing I displayed out here. Okay. Go back to the browser and you see these informations out here. All right. Any questions, folks? Uh, uh, the enumeration is a is a class. Enumeration is not a class for us right now. Okay, it is an interface. As I said, the way we have we, we were talking about uh, iterator. Okay, so I T E R A T O R. So what is this iterator? This is also an interface. Okay, so just like we use a iterator uh, here in servlets, we use uh, enumerator. E, not in servlets. This particular specific method okay. returns an enumeration. Okay. If you see the written type of this method, it is what? It is an enumeration mm -hmm. out here. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's right. And it, it is getting the parameters which you were uh, fr from that box. Uh, uh, it basically what it does, code. it takes all the fields. Now, how many fields? I have got one, two, three, and four fields. So it takes up all the mm -hmm. fields and it captures all the information at one shot. And you can very well. I trade through those uh, complete okay. list and you can print it accordingly. Okay. okay. So these are all okay. couple of utility uh, methods. It might be used handy sometimes if you want to capture all the informations and you want to do some processing, mm -hmm. you can do that. Okay. Here, if you see in my previous example, I used to say request get parameter of first name, last name. Here I didn't do those things. Even if, if you can mm -hmm. see here, I've done it in this way. But if you do not want to do it in that way, you can just say request dot get parameter and you can just pass on the enumeration values out here. Okay, you say enumeration okay. dot next value. Okay, got right. it. Okay. okay. Yeah.
Uh, folks, I mean, uh, I believe I have to stop here. Uh, I would request you guys to go ahead and work out on this. And as I said, please uh, write a JDBC application. Okay. Create a HTML page. All right. Create an HTML page. Have a form out here. Enter your first name, last name, email address, uh, or your address, anything as such. Have a submit button and create a servlet accordingly. Let's say a uh, student servlet. Okay. So that student servlet is going to create a connection. All right. Create going to create a connection and save those information to the database. So everything you can do it using a service method. Okay. So I would request you guys, uh, please do this and shoot out an email to me uh, with the, uh, with all the files so that I can review that. And if you still have any questions, you can just shoot out an email to me. Okay. So we'll just stop the class. If you guys have any questions, uh, the window is open right now. How does it captures radio button, upload picture, etc. Okay. So we'll talk about capturing the radio buttons. Uh, we'll talk about, uh, we'll see uh, if I have an example, I'll show you how to upload, uh, upload a video or upload a file also. Okay. We'll talk about that in the upcoming sessions. Uh, hello, uh, Jerem. I, I wanted to ask you uh, in this, uh, you have set content type okay. above, a little bit above. Right. Uh, okay. What is this text HT? Uh, as of now, just understand this. Tomorrow we'll talk about other content types also. Okay. As of now, you are saying that you are giving in the form of your uh, HTML. You have got text XML also. So let us go back to this and uh, uh, where is that browser? Go submit. There are different content types also, which we'll discuss in the upcoming sessions. All right. Thank you. Okay. So, all right. If you can see the hello world, it is uh, extra, extra content at the end of the document. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's not bother about right now. Okay. I'll be showing you a couple of other content types also in the, in the, uh, in the coming sessions as well. Okay. We'll talk about uh, how to drop, uh, I mean, whenever you give an output, I want to save the complete output in the form of your word, word doc. Okay. I want to save all the information in, in your word document itself directly. So I can use it. I can use a couple of other different contents types also. Okay. Just stay tuned. Okay. All right, folks, any other questions as of now? No questions. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to check in all the files uh, today and uh, you guys can work out on that. Okay. And if you see here, you just need to do an update on your April 14 batch itself. You don't have to uh, have anything as in picture. So just right click and just pull. Okay. So all the files will be in your, in your system. Okay. All right, folks. Uh, have a nice, uh, have a good night. Jerome, uh, just a quick question. Mm -hmm. How would, what is the difference between a GST and a server? There is no difference. Uh, to on a higher end, if I say you, GSP is nothing but a servlet again. Okay. There are a lot of other differences we'll see uh, in the upcoming classes. Okay. But just to give you a higher, uh, higher uh, knowledge, your GSP ultimately is your servlet itself. Okay. All right, folks, uh, we can wind up here. And I know you guys are pretty much curious to understand JSP. Uh, when it, when the time comes, you will pretty much understand what is the difference between those two. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you.